Thank you. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Hey. Listen, What's guess it? what? I just found out I get out on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> 48 hours, okay. Amber is an inmate that I met online. I decided to write to 10 inmates. I wasn't sure who was going to answer or if they were going to answer. Amber responded with positive energy, which really caught my attention. We have been dating for 22 months. Vince never came to visit me in prison because I kept sending him visitation forms, and he kept messing up the visitation forms, like, repeatedly. When Vince first asked me to marry him, we hadn't even met in person. Vince asked me to marry him, like, a month into it, OK? And he didn't just say, hey, will you marry me? He had this long, drawn-out, like, explanation of why I should marry him and I should take this chance on him and, you know, uh, you only live once and all this stuff. So my immediate response was, are you with me right now or are you serious? I want to marry Amber because I feel like we have a, a strong and genuine connection with each other. I was on a pen pal website um, in prison and Vince hit me up off my profile. And when I first got my, the email from him, of course I responded. He seemed like he was intelligent. He seemed like he had a together and he seemed like an interesting guy. There's a lot of baggage that comes with dating a prisoner or an inmate, I was more fascinated with being in love rather than being in love with Amber. I love you. I'm excited. All right, love you too, sweetie. I'm excited. This is awkward. <laughs> this is really awkward. That was our first kiss. With the kiss being, you know, awkward, as Amber would put it, I was just hoping for the best. When Vince asked me to marry him, I said yes, but I don't think you can 100% know for sure if it's love until you've had the chance to see if there's a connection between you and the other person. It's a given that him and I are going to have to get to know each other. Listen, thank you for today. It was nice. Yeah. Oh, nice. One step at a time. Yeah. Good night, babe. Don't be trying to wake me up all early this morning either. No worries. <laughs> Good night. Good night. I'm not sure why things are so awkward with me and Vince. I don't know if it's because everything just seems so overwhelming. I'm going to sleep in the room by myself. Sensing the awkwardness between Amber and I, uh, my first reaction was uh, to give her more space. And then, you know, as time went on, I just wasn't sure what to do. I felt like after the emotional support of 22 months that he gave me, that, you know, I at least owed it to him to, you know, meet him in person, you know, see who he really is, give him a chance to see who I really am. My intentions are definitely to take things slow, see where it goes from here. I have no intentions on jumping in the sack. It's a given that him and I are going to have to get to know each other outside of being in prison. I think in every relationship that it needs uh, to have the emotional connection as well as the physical connection. If you don't have both, then, you know, you're missing something. When we met in person, it was just, it was uncomfortable. There, there was no, I mean, there just was no connection there in person. Hey, my beautiful wifey. Hey, baby. I just want to tell you welcome to the free world. I love you, bitch. I love you. I met Puppy in prison. She's my best friend. Puppy is the finest bitch in prison, period. That's why she's mine. I'm glad you're out. I wish I could be there. <laughs> I love you, beautiful. I love you. Mwah. Take care of my wifey, bitch. I got you. I love her. That's my bitch. I'm not sure what the relationship between Amber and Puppy is. I have no interest in that. As you can already tell, I'm um, having a hard time seeing where I fit in. What do you mean? So the nature of Puppy and I's relationship, I love her. She loves me. We're best friends. I call her my wifey. We are not, um, we're not officially married. Um, I've never been with a girl before, so her Puppy and I have never had sex. Um, we never made out. We never done none of that. I just love her. Like, she's my family. We will always be a part of each other's life. The reason they didn't sleep together in prison was because of the uh, circumstances and the trouble you can get in if you get caught sleeping with another inmate. <laughs> Like, when I say that that's my best friend, that's my best. Like, I love, when I say I love her, I love her. Do you know that um, Amber refers to Puppy as her wife? Do you know that? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> my wife. I said, oh, you're gay now. <laughs>
Not yet. You know, what Amber and Puppy want to do with each other, that's between Amber and Puppy. Uh, if they develop a serious relationship, I'm happy for them. Females, do your thing. Uh, if you're just not into me, tell me, let me go, and let's just part ways. And I got to thinking about it, like, why does some guy that's in the military that has his together, never married before, no kids, whatever, want to just marry some felon that they don't know? Right. Well, maybe you should ask him, why'd you pick me? I don't want to necessarily say that he's had ulterior motives from the beginning, but there's got to be some kind of a reason for this, this awkwardness, this uncomfortable vibe that is going on between Vince and I. He messaged me one day. He's like, listen, I talked to Puppy, and I think I'm going to adopt her. How the can he uh, adopt my daughter? He said, I looked into it. I'm going to claim her on my thing. He said, I'll get $257 twice a month. He said, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the money between the two of y'all. I communicated to her, you know, if I adopt you, we could put you to school. We could get you a trade. We could get you certified in cosmetology and um, maybe massage therapy. So she seemed very receptive to that. And she seemed like she had a great attitude to want to be better and do better and transform into a productive citizen. So uh, I wanted to support that. What's going on? Well, you know, hey, girl talk, you know, like every woman does. Right. You know? um, there's one question that really lingers in my head was, how did you adopt my daughter? Um, I worry about um, him having control of her when she comes home. Um, what kind of power is he gonna be able to have? I've raised her, and here's a grown man that don't even know her that is now legally her adopted dad. From what I understand, um, I think if you have dependents, then you typically can get more money. Right. So that was the approach to help them more, to send more money. I know Amber, she's kind of a hustler. Yeah. I know you're probably kind of a hustler. I just don't want y'all to get confused of the hustle partnership, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And let it override a relationship. Vince discovered that he couldn't even claim Puppy as a dependent on his check after the adoption was finalized. <sighs> when we started having all that conversation, it made me realize, like, where I'm at fault about a lot of my questions and my, you know, the things that are going on in the back of my head. In hindsight now, it, there's a lot of little things that don't add up. You didn't tell me your real name. I didn't know your real name until after you asked me to marry you. Amber mentioning that I had ulterior motives um, and not putting my name, uh, using the name Hercules, you know, I thought that was just a good safety or security measure. Not until I felt comfortable enough was I gonna have my real name. If you wanna uh, criticize me on that, okay, that's fine. Um, but other than that, I can't think of anything else that's significant of me uh, showing that I had ulterior motives. I think it started out, Vince was uh, trying to use the girls and they figured it out. And when they figured out what he was doing, they turned it around and tried to, you know, tried to use him the same way. Okay, yeah, we'll go along with this and we'll make money off of it, just like he's going to. They were trying to use me. Um, that's on them. That's some karma they're gonna have to deal with. I wasn't trying to use them. So like, whatever. That that's what happens. In life. some people use you, and you just you just do your best to learn from it and not let it happen again. If me and Vince would have worked out and I would have married him, then I would have been gaining a husband and puppy, my wife, would have then been my daughter, which is weird as People have been asking me if, I, if I'll ever date again. Um, the answer is yes. With the risk of being in the military and uh, doing it, you know, for years on end, you're comfortable with taking risks, I guess. Dating a prisoner uh, was not too far-fetched or out of the ordinary for me because I was not living an ordinary lifestyle. I put that that prison uh, dating life behind me. Am I open to the idea of dating other guys? I mean, I'm just out here, you know, going through the motions. I'm 
thriving. I'm going to work every day. I'm progressing. I'm doing what I got to do out here to, to survive, you know, as a, as a normal member of society. That love's going to come. And when it does, you know, I invite it. I'm not out there looking for it. That's for sure.